Thank you for joining me. Today, I'm going to show you how I built this V1 Engineering Lowrider 3. I'm going to show you my process from start to finish. So I hope you enjoy the video. If you have not already, please like the channel and subscribe. When I found the V1 Engineering Lowrider CNC version 3, I was immediately intrigued. So I went to their site, I bought the kit. Controller I'm using is going to be the SKR Pro. I bought everything through V1 Engineering. I then downloaded the files and 3D printed all the parts. And I did this before I started my build. The directions on the V1 Engineering website are perfect. They're extremely clear and they walk you through step by step. They made this build for this CNC machine easy. In my kit, I received absolutely everything. Nuts, bolts, bearings, everything. The only extra things I had to purchase was the filament to print the 3D printed parts, the material I used for the tabletop, the rail, my router, and the screws to attach my rails. Everything else, like I said, is included. The 3D printed parts, they give you the file, and they also give you the suggestion for the infill for when you print the file. They also give you a bill of materials. They list every part that you will need and also a hyperlink to where you can get those pieces if you decide not to buy the kit through them. The other thing that is great about these plans, you can custom build this to the size you want. They also include a calculator. This calculator will determine the size of your table, the size of rails you need, the belt lengths, and it also, they have a calculator for your permanent struts. When you enter your size, it'll tell you exactly how big you need it. And then you can download the file so you can use this machine to cut out your permanent struts. So enough talking. I'm going to let you watch my process of building my Lowrider CNC version 3. I'm going to leave a link in the description for the V1 engineering site. If you have any questions about this build or any other questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. If you have not already, please like the channel and subscribe. I hope you enjoy the video.
for the XZ plate and the YZ plate. They suggest that you can mill these parts. I decided that I'm going to 3D print them and I'm going to do it at an 80% infill and see how they hold up. I can always mill these parts at a later date. Here I'm using 3 quarter inch EMT conduit. I also use the same material for my rail.
with everything built with the temporary struts, next thing to do is to square the whole device. The directions do walk you through step by step on how to do this. And also they tell you exactly how to make the adjustments if you're out of square. The code I'm entering is to probe the material. I created my own probe. If you don't want to build your own probe, you can buy a probe and you can get this from the V1 engineering website. With the permanent struts cut out, next thing to do is to disassemble the whole unit and install the permanent struts. And this is when you're gonna finalize all your wiring. For me, all my wiring I ran in the middle. So everything was hidden within the struts. With the machine put back together, I test everything. It's working perfectly. The only thing I have left is to install my vacuum. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, please like the channel and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.